Hello folks and welcome to my review of Robocop Rogue City on the PlayStation 5. Now I've skipped the first level which is basically a tutorial um, because I've covered that in my previous video of the demo on the PC. So let's start with the basics of um, Robocop Rogue City on PlayStation 5. So in your menus here if you go into options there's not a huge amount of options to do with performance and graphics or not it's just performance or graphics. You apply it and it's got a bit of a higher resolution um, if you look at this lovely lady here for example her hair you can see the resolution slightly higher but you drop to 30 so my advice would be stick it on performance um, take the ever so slight decrease in um, graphical quality and just play at 60 it's much nicer so that's done with you can adjust the gamma your field of view i tend to set it a little bit higher um, motion blur, I don't mind that, and um, I normally turn off chromatic aberration, but because of Robocop's visor and that, I think actually it might make sense to leave it on. Not a ton of options um, in the audio either. Um, you can reduce the footsteps volume, because um, they're actually quite loud, but that's part of it for me, so I won't do that. And there's plenty of options to um, go through here as well, um, mostly related to the HUD and whatnot, and um, you can, can, of course, can change the controller settings as well. So that's the basics of that. Uh, so as we get into this area here, um, so the first part of the game isn't like very open world at all. Um, you're going through the main, uh, the sort of news station dealing with everything. And then you come straight to this police station. And there's plenty of little um, extra missions here. For example, this lady uh, does not want to take this guy down to the drunk tank um, because he stinks apparently, quite badly. I can deal with blood, guts, but puke is a no-go for me. I'll be a sport and move his ass to the drunk tank for me. You've got your special gloves and extra protection, so you shouldn't mind. And she's correct. I don't mind. So I'm going to pick him up like this. Pick him downstairs. <coughs> I owe you one, Murphy. And this sort of thing oh, no. is an example stylish. of the kind of funny I'm quests. Um, that are in the game and, uh, <laughs> and they're quite um, indicative of the tone of the movie um, deeply serious and um, quite quite sad and heart-wrenching at points um, but also you've got funny bits Look like the adverts cold. and stuff as well pop me in there uh, job done oh. there we go that's him done and of course, in this fully modelled police station from the movie, you've got the gun range. If you come out here, and you go around and down here, you have the data centre. Hi, Murphy. Where Robocop walks straight in, comes straight to this computer system here, and chucks his hand into that via his uh, sort of interface needle, and is able to find all the information on the people who killed him. Sorry if that's a spoiler alert, but if you haven't seen Robocop by now, that's uh, kind of crazy. And of course down here is the garage or garage where Robocop's car is and uh, where he speeds off up that ramp up there. Again, faithfully recreated and really good fun to be able to come in here and actually see um, all of this, which you obviously don't really get to explore in the movie because um, it's a movie but it's pretty great to see that in here. So next up, let's have a look at the menu system. So you've got your legend there where it tells you primary objectives and all that sort of thing. You can add markers if there's anything you want to go back to later. You've got your standard object objectives thing here and you can look through all the things that you've uh, accomplished. And you can buy or pick up new hardware um, a circuit board that you can add into your gun and that gives it more advanced abilities. For example, later on in the game, you can actually get um, full auto fire with limitless ammunition and uh, makes you somewhat of a killing machine at that point. And you've got various options here for sort of an RPG element to the game. Uh, so you can upgrade your armor, your combat, your vitality, which is obviously your health, your engineering, um, your focus, so that's your sort of um, your sort of bullet time type thing. Scanning, um, how how well you can scan the area and stuff, and you can, as it says here, you can ricochet bullets off of walls. Enhanced maps and scanning, and uh, better ability 
um, when you're actually talking to people. Because once you get into the open world in this game, you can actually take on sort of side quests and whatnot as well. And then you've got your archive where you can review, for example, police going private or tutorials that you okay, see. Okay, let's get on with it. And this is a pretty cool area here. This is in the movie where you would sit and you'd be analysed and your dreams are analysed and whatnot. And this guy is your typical OCP douche. So this is another this example of open. some of the comedy Please in the game. So the, the desk sergeant asks I'll you to uh, take up this queue, and, and this is how funny it is. And I think it's because they're jealous of my new dog. Why would they get so worked up every time I take him for a walk? What is his name? He has a beautiful red coat, so I call him Fire. He likes to hide, so sometimes I have to yell, Fire! Fire! To find him. Anyway, can you do something about my neighbors? No, but I will let you off for the warning. That's fine. I don't mind paying the price to have the cutest dog in all of Detroit. Next, please. Now, anyone who's seen the movie will really enjoy this as well. They've really put a lot of love into this game. So let's have a talk next about the graphics. So this is an Unreal Engine 5 game, uh, one of the first few ones to have come out. Uh, so you've got your sort of reflections here. They are better looking on the PC. Overall, uh, the game on my PC, which has a uh, RTX 2080 Ti, 32 gigs of RAM and an i7-9700F, is definitely better looking and runs smoother on the PC. And um, for example here, if I pan slowly, you can see it a slight bit of judder. That's as you get frame rate drops. So for the most part, it's a pretty solid 60. Um, and the reflections and, and materials work on the vehicles and whatnot is actually very nice. Um, but uh, the reflections are definitely better looking on the PC version, even when using DLSS or FSR or XESS. However, they've done a really good job of creating a very nice looking world here uh, for you to explore, full of side quests Could you and please keep um, the noise down? You're scaring off my customers. <laughs> quite funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Music's too loud. So I'll chat to this chap here. First thing, and he's annoyed obviously that they're they're behaving pretty poorly. So you've got options here as to what you can do. You can help turn off the radio by destroying it. Um, or threaten them violently, I would say I'm going to destroy the radio. Wait a minute, so you get to make your own decisions on what's best to do. Um, what I would say is that those people were acting in a really antisocial manner, deliberately antagonizing this business owner. So of course it makes logical sense to smash their radio. I like the detail on all these things as well. Funny little branding and whatnot. Fruity loops. Yes, there's a, they put a lot of detail in here. Um, perhaps some of this is stock um, images they put on. I don't know, but um, it looks like they've actually put a, just a lot of detail and work into making the game uh, kind of stand out and um, feel more like you're actually there. So this is one of the areas of Detroit that you can actually just wander around as you wish, freely, talking to people um, and solving crimes before you actually go onto your main sort of mission. And I've got to say, graphically, it's very nice. Um, they've done, honestly, they've done such a great job of really bringing in... Um, all of the elements from the movies, um, including things like I'd buy that for a dollar. Hey, Romo, can you help me out here? See, this officer man, wants me dude. to help him. Why make such a big so you deal? can do these side quests and uh, you get more experience points then, more public trust, people more willing to give you information and whatnot um, because they then trust you. So of the glitches that people spoke of um, in the, um, the sort of early release,
versions of the game where you got where they got to review it a bit earlier. Um, I haven't really noticed traversal stutter and that sort of thing. Um, I've noticed sometimes the textures and reflections don't load in uh, oh, straight away. Those are so nice looking textures. I hope they fit. Wow, that's sad. So, for example, down here, I walked up to this uh, reflective puddle, had a look, and um, the texture didn't load in straight away. Of course, it's loaded in now. So what's the value proposition of getting this game then? So it's a £50 game and I'm playing it again now. Oh, I can issue tickets. Yes, parked in front of a fire hydrant. Very naughty. So in terms of value, uh, you're talking between 20 and 30 hours, depending on how good you are at the game and how much you explore and how much of the side quests and that you do. Uh, which I don't think is a bad amount of money for a game of this nature. Yes, some of the uh, side quest Mayor characters. Stormed into my office. Apparently, his niece's car has been stolen. Uh -oh. Find it. This goes to the top of your priority list. You can start by asking about it at some of the local garages. For the record, it's a blue SUX 6000 registered to Melissa Kuzak. So some of the, the um, sort of side characters in the game uh, their graphics on them, sort of their, the work that was put into their appearance um, is slightly less, sort of lower par, um, but the texture work in the game is excellent. And um, some of the voice work on the um, sort of side characters again is also not um, amazing. But having said that, we are talking about a sort of what I would call a double A tier developer. They're not triple A, uh, they're double A. Um, but I find these double A tier um, developers kind of have a way of making their games a bit more alive, a bit more, sort of, they have more character and more sort of flair to them. Uh, for example, I can't imagine like Ubisoft would be particularly willing to take on a title like this. They would say, oh, Robocop, is, is, is it worth it? People don't view games based on movies very well. However, in my experience, this is a solid sort of for me, this is a 9 out of 10, maybe even a 10 out of 10, because I absolutely love Robocop. It's basically my favourite film, and to be able to run around here, or walk around, um, is absolutely brilliant. If you love Robocop, or even if you just like it, uh, you'll really, really like this game. So there are some little bits of jank in the game, but overall this is, this is pretty great stuff. Really enjoyable, really good fun, plenty of side missions and whatnot to do. And the Unreal Engine 5 sort of equips itself quite nicely, really. Although the far off detail there on that arcade is sort of a, a tad blurry. So this is be where if you were to ch chuck it into uh, graphics mode, you would see it's a lot clearer there. It's like pristine. It's kind of how it looks on the PC. But of course, having said that, PlayStation 5 is £450. And yes, obviously you need a TV and whatnot, but I'd be surprised if you didn't have a TV. Um, so yeah, the PC version is gonna look better if you've got a decent PC, um, but it's gonna cost a lot more than £450, that's for sure. So this game, pretty much a nine or 10 out of 10 for me. Even the side quests aren't boring. They're actually quite good fun, quite entertaining. And uh, it's just nice to get some more um, story from Robocop, really, some more lore. Um, I believe this is based between uh, the first and second movies. So it's like, you know, everyone recognises that you're the, uh, you're the new man in town, you're the bad, the big bad boss, you can take out any of the criminals and whatnot. And um, it's nice to explore the Robocop universe, as it were, a bit more. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to give it a like, comment, subscribe, share this video on your social media and uh, consider checking out my Patreon. I'd like to say thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great day.